All right, it is Friday the 14th of March. It is Euroscrum. We have David and Pete and Sam Pretty and Thomas and Sam in the house, and it is my teaching day, and uh, David will take us over um, in your own time, David. I I'll set up screen share on um, my side so that I've got the... Oops, I forgot what it's called now. Uh, it was my Firefox with the Pivotal Tracker in it. And, uh, but again, yeah, you've got your own screen share, which I'll switch the recording over to. And, uh, yeah, take it away, David. Oh, okay. Well, we have got... Uh, yeah, uh, Pete, Sam, Sam Pretty, Thomas, and myself. Um, why don't we go through quickly one by one um, and answer the three um, Scrum questions? Pete, you, you're on the left of my screen. Do you want to go first? I'll, d I'll okay. just mention that, that, David, that your screen is largely black at the moment. I'm not. Oh, it's because I covered it over with the Hangout window. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, anyway, sorry. Uh, do, do go ahead, Pete. Right. Well. well Tell me, David, what are these three Scrum questions? Uh, the three Scrum questions are uh, what I did, what I'm going to do in the next 24 hours, and what's blocking me. Okay, excellent. Well, what I did yesterday, um, we uh, started on the Cordelia Lulu site, which was like um, like giving birth to the project. Woo! Great. Yeah, great. Champagne! Woo. We had Thomas and Viv and Brian and Jeff and Sam Pretty all there to witness the glorious moment. Um, Bless. <laughs> so is it is the digital version or a lo-fi version right now? Uh, right now we've got an empty rails um, a kind of boilerplate site. Uh, great. And I'm, I left before uh, everybody had finished, so I'm not sure how much went on after after that. Uh, but we were basically getting uh, Postgres set up, and we had a HTML5 boilerplate CSS installed, and Thomas's lo-fi um, in, in HTML form to start to break out into into layouts. Can we see the site as it, as it stands? Can you share, your, share your screen or just paste the link into chat or something? I don't know. Thomas, do we have anything? Thomas is muted and maybe away from the keyboard. Uh, oh, I mean, right. sorry, sorry, maybe I was misinterpreting. I was thinking that maybe... Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm not muted now. But to, to my knowledge, we haven't deployed anything to... Oh, to I'm sorry. Yeah. The staging server. Right, you just created the, the code. I, I, was, I was thinking it had been um, pushed up onto some... But no, no, that's fine. Please, please. yeah. Uh, sorry to interrupt. So maybe it's it's more of the inception than, than the, the, the actual birth. Right, indeed. Or the conception. So. Conception, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, yeah. I had Are you on GitHub, guys? Yeah, I've, I've got a GitHub account. It's, it's in the Agile Ventures um, GitHub under Lulu Cordelia. Great. Actually, no, it's just Cordelia. Um, Right back to you. To, to connect that from, uh, from the agileventures.org, and we have get have a little bit more integrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just can mention that we seem to we, we got a, a a pull request from from some pretty. We seem to have Travis got up and going, and it's the next step will be to to write user stories and start to implement them because we've done the technical stuff right now, and I think we can. By the time here's the side if you want to have a look, it's on my screen. Oh, well, there's not yeah. much to see actually right now. Mm. Oh, okay. but yeah, we, and so we, we, we've got the GitHub on Agile Ventures, and that's the that's the yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, so in the next 24 hours, I'm going to be doing some client work this morning, and then this afternoon after the um, the US Scrum. Uh, sorry, the Atlantic Scrum. Uh, I was hoping to get back to work on this some more. Um, nothing really blocking me at the moment. Good. Good. Um, Sam, you're next on my list. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, right, what did I do? Uh, yesterday, um, we managed to do a bit of stuff, stuff pushing out the... Um, the ESAS course, we made a bit of progress there in terms of making a, um, 
you know, a first a first video. I don't know if anybody had a chance to watch. I mean, I, I made it with Thomas, so Thomas saw it. Did anybody else have a chance to watch that video, the introducing the course? Yeah, I watched that. And and what did you think about that? Is that something that we can we can use? Do you think? Yeah, that's great. It's good good presentation. The only issue that I had with it was you were viewing the slides in edit mode. Yeah, that is so the kind highlights of highlights kept indeed, coming on. Thomas was saying that um, I basically that's actually my preferred mode, the way that I do it. You you yeah. may um, basically because in the presentation mode you can't select parts of the text very easily, and you kind of end up with multiple monitors like I have l losing things. I actually like. Um, I know in some ways it looks not as professional because it's not supposed to be set up like that. But mm -hmm. actually, having the other slides coming up, I, I don't want necessarily conceal from the people who are viewing the upcoming slides. I, I don't see that as a problem. So I don't know. I mean, I think um, we could argue that it should be re-recorded with a different mode. But um, in some ways, that's usually my intention to do it like that. And it also mm -hmm. allows me to sort of edit slides in the. I mean, I, I feel it's like this kind of raw thing. But maybe it comes across as very unprofessional. I don't know. Well, it's up to you. If that's your style, then stick with it. The, what I have seen is people using like a whiteboard mode so that they can make, make marks on the slide. Yeah, no, that's true, actually. No, I, I was doing that the other day. Yes, yes. I also I end up worried. But it's just that they, when it goes into this presentation mode, it like makes all my other monitors go blank, and I lose like the uh -huh. controls on the video recording thing and the sound and all this other stuff. So I kind of... Um, yeah, it sort of freaks me yeah, out. But, but yes, there's no, no. The, 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 I, I did discover recently the, the drawing mode, and I use that for some of the, the, the Nanda Tetris lectures. Um, that, is, that is quite good, actually. Um, as, as long as you want to stay in that mode and you don't want to drag in a, um, you know, outside materials, um, mm. which in this case, actually, we, we, we don't so much. So anyway, I mean, I think um, what I'm very pleased is that we managed to... Thomas was there when I recorded it and saw how I did it, and uh, we managed to actually record that also in the Hangout, and that was... And Pavel was able to watch that. So I think... I'm, I'm, I'm think, I feel very positive about at least having a, you know, showing how potentially simple it is to get it done. Um, so uh, that was kind of a key thing. I mean, uh, let's break them up into things of, of things that were done. The other thing that I did yesterday was I started with Paul and Rose uh, working through the um, uh, the chapter four walkthrough, uh, which is I'm going to be releasing to my software engineering students and lots of the instructors have kind of issues with, and I'm in the process of trying to fix. I, I now, you know, now that I have full edit access to the book, I'm able to fix. Uh, technical issues in in the book that I wasn't I wasn't able to previously, so I'm I'm working through that. I'm hoping to make the you know chapter four walkthrough of creating a Rails app you know work perfectly for the current VM uh, and also get it working on C9. But so that's started and that'll continue. So the, the plan then today, basically, my teaching day, so I need to push out that um, you know software engineering stuff, including the chapter four walkthrough. Um, although given the time constraints, I may end up. Pushing. I mean, I, I think I've realised that, that you know I can always go slower in my course, and the students will never complain, really. Um, but so that needs to be my focus today. Um, there will be, an, you know, I'm trying, hoping to conclude going through that walkthrough at 4 p.m. UTC today. Um, things blocking me: um, not getting enough sleep, not getting uh, some way, some way to generate more time. I think um, I don't. Uh, technical other t t minor issues. I, I'm. I've, I've got a support request to 123reg to try and, because we've lost harrowcn.org.uk uh, in order to get the emails working. And I've got a support request in with them to try and work out how to set up the DNS properly, um, which is a bit of a pain. But, uh, yeah, and then the, 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 big, the big direction is just, you know, to try and get this um, ESAS course, course live. And, and um, you know, I think Pav Pavel's, Pavel's uh, wanting to record some videos and Thomas is on the cusp of doing it. So we it just, you know, um, I, I think it can potentially all come together. Just uh, it will need some need some focus, particularly from me. Um, so, yeah, I, th I think that I think that's all from me. Maybe. Right. Anything else from the client meeting yesterday? Um, I don't. Well, I guess right. You didn't. You weren't here for yesterday's Atlantic Scrum. Um, in as much as the climate, well, we've got some some key. You know, there's two key things going on there. One is. Um, some change, you know, some some minor changes to get pushed out so that the client feels comfortable sending out invitation emails, which is really the which is really the site going. You know, it's 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 graduation time for the site. You know, it's go, it's going to go out to the real, real deal now, the real customers. Um, right, and I saw that John's picked that up as a story. Yeah, so there's a there's a few when we voted on. We, well, I was very pleased that we managed to vote on a lot of local support stories yesterday. So we've got certain a number of minor things that just need to, just need to get done 
um, and I've sort of fixed the emails. The other thing is that we're, um, yeah, we'll work close, closely with the client to help her get an estimate to the person with the money uh, for the volunteer epic. Um, yeah, uh, other random news is I'm having a good dialogue with Eric about he, he's talking about doing another week or two of scrums and then uh, for the Odin project and then wanting to bring in the, the Agile Ventures branding, which will give us a Pacific Coast uh, scrum point, which I'm very excited about. Um, yeah, yeah, that's, um, I think that's, uh, that's me. Yep. Uh, okay, that's a lot of progress. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, how you fit that in with teaching. Anyway, um, so pretty. Can you hear us? Um, yeah, um, I was working on uh, those two features of on the Codedia site, like making uh, making Travis work and uh, um, uh, upgrading to Ruby 2.1, and uh, then uh, uh, now I'm currently working on some features on website one. Nothing much. Okay, good. Um, I'm nothing blocking me. Right, Thomas, you uh, you back? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. I was just muted. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, I was working with uh, Sam yesterday on, on the ESAS training course. I was working with Brian, uh, Sampridi, and Pete, and Viv on the Cordelia project. And I've been working a little bit with Brian uh, on the GitHub um, profile page link. Uh, as well, so we, we added some integration tests, and Brian did some refactoring of the methods, and we're trying we're going to try to push that up uh, to develop later today, perhaps. And nothing is potentially blocking me. Uh, we'll continue to work on the ESAS training program. I've created two presentations that I will record, and uh, I did some recordings last night, but I was too tired, so I scrapped them so, because they weren't, you know. I start to stutter and stuff. So <laughs> we, we could, we could. Uh, the other thing we might, we might do, Thomas, is 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 paste in the links. Like other people, I mean, probably you and I might might pair looking at them, or we'll, we'll see about time later on. Um, you could just sort of paste the li links into the group chat or the Skype now. So if other people, I mean, obviously everyone here's got experience with Heroku and so on, might just sort of you know look through. Oh um, yeah, sure. For, 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 uh, you know, if people can give. I a thought those uh, these these uh, documents are in the same. Uh... Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yes, no, 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 they are. Although, of course, uh, and then this is this is a bit. I mean, I think Bill's still a little unclear about how that works. Um, but yet, yeah, but yes, yeah, so, so there is potentially everyone will have access to to this. But because I haven't shared it explicitly with people, it won't necessarily share up show up in your Google Drive. Maybe I should do that as well. But this is the link to the shared folder. Maybe I should. Um, the 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 thing there is, of course, if I want to share explicitly with people, I don't know. See, I can kind of put Thomas in there. Uh, Bill is Jetstream. Uh, put Pavel is it Pavel GBG? Is that the right one? I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, I've, I've just um, what I've just done is kind of added ex rather than because I basically make it open to anybody who has a link and edit. And I've also now invited Thomas and Pete and Pavel and uh, uh, I guess I'll put. Yeah, we've got, I'll just do everybody here uh, on the off chance. You can always like unlink yourself if you. I'm trying to find David Corking, but not. What was happening with getting Google Apps for Enterprise on uh, a? The the blocking point is that we have to have a, an American 5013C in order to superficially get. Oh wait a sec, no right. Oh and then no, and then I found out we could do a UK one, but we have to be officially registered with the Charity Commission, and that means we have to have five thousand pounds in the bank. Uh, right. In order to get. That so I think there is a route with the UK one, but yeah, I just that that's you know obviously there's some there's some funds there that I'd have to move around and things to get that to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I've got some pretty in there. Yeah, I'll be. Ha I I create those the the ones about GitHub and and Heroku. So I'll be happy to to uh, get some constructive feedback on that. Yeah, I'm trying to add you, David, but I don't seem to have a David Corking sort of. I don't know what your. Um, oh, I'll are. give you my email. Actually, it's showing up on the screen at the moment. My email for but Google Drive is this. You don't need that. Uh, mm, uh, D Corking, yeah. Uh, I can yeah, send some, that to you. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, for some reason, it was not. It was not auto. Maybe there's some sort of lack of linkage. But but anyway, so everybody should. 
you don't you don't need the invite to have the access, but um, uh, so. But I can't edit it until you give me the invite. No, no, but you not can. that I want to edit it. No, right no, but now. you can. Yeah. you can. It's, it's oh. set up. Every, anyone yeah. can view it, and anybody who's got the link uh, can edit it. So. Oh, the, the, okay. The, the, so the, I don't the, need the, the invite. invite. I've got you the invite. You don't need the invite to actually right. edit. You just need the invite to have it appear in your uh, Google Drive lists. Um, um, one more so, thing, Baker. Yeah. The videos that Thomas recorded uh, is are they on are they on YouTube or? Uh, I think Thomas, Thomas was saying somebody that he scrapped the recordings because he didn't he didn't like them last night and he's planning to re-record okay. them. But so yeah so. Yeah. But, but anyway. as soon as I record them, I will uh, upload them to the to the course so you can view it through the course. Yeah. yeah, and then if they're, you know, yeah. if you have to redo them, I just re-record them. And, yeah. So we don't, we don't have to re review these as a group now, but I just want to make sure that everybody has got access for them. I mean, this is, again, the, 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 we're all invested in, the, in this, and that what we're hoping is that people coming into the ESOS training course will learn, I mean, you know, this will be part of, this is also training new Agile Ventures recruits. So, you know, doing a good job here makes our, you know, means a bigger pool of people you know, who know the right stuff uh, collaborating with us in the future for all of our projects. So I think it's in, it's in all our interests um, to, to sort of collaborate on this. Anyway. Cool. Okay. Good. I should welcome Brian. Um, so so uh, we got Brian and myself to finish off the Scrum. Mm -hmm. uh, shall, shall I go next? Um, yesterday I was working. I've blanked out the screen. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, this is this is I guess how how it should look like in your drive if if you w want to review those um, slides. Yeah, you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, you want them reviewed. You want us to review them and, and make sure there's there's no surprises in there. Okay. Um, yeah, I worked on uh, triaging screencasts with Pete, and uh, uh, we're past the halfway point. We picked up a few stragglers that. Uh, um, uh, Sam mentioned that aren't, that didn't make it to the spreadsheet yet, but uh, I picked up on uh, a couple of stragglers that were in Vimeo. Um, I think we should scan through the latex as well to make sure that there's nothing else that we've missed. Um, also worked with Marion on trying to improve the layout of local support. Um, I don't think we've got one online at the moment, but we um, we moved. The, uh, there's some check boxes that were kind of nestled inside the edit and organization form uh, and Marion has moved them out to the right hand side. Um, we need to do some tweaks and get all the tests to pass before we can make a pull request on that. Um, and I, I, By the way, it's still, it's still ugly but they're moved out to the side so I think maybe we want to make a pull request on that and decide where we go from there. Mm. Um, What's blocking me? I've got. Oh, what I'm going to do? Uh, do some more screencasts and see if I can pick up with uh, Marion on that. But I also want to work on what's blocking me, which is this Heisen bug that um, maybe affects nobody else, but um, the login link on uh, Harry uh, on uh, local support just doesn't work for me. It doesn't bring me to the login drop-down uh, dialog. Which browser is that in? That is in Firefox and Chrome. I tried it, so it seems to be a problem with my um, developer server. Um, I uh, want I to get to the bottom, in case it affects. Yeah. Your your Heroku, your Heroku system is the problem. Is what you're Yeah, it's either my Heroku. Server. Well, it, yeah, maybe my Heroku or my um, uh, my uh, regular uh, develop environment. Mm. Mm -hmm. So when I. I I, it means that it's difficult for me to own a story and uh, put okay. a pull request in yeah. uh, until I get uh, that get either resolved or at least uh, at least get it tracked down so that sure. uh, I can. Uh, I'm sure that nobody else is getting it with my code. Um, right, that's me, Brian. Um, okay. Uh, since yesterday, I've been working on. All the stuff with Thomas, working a bit on the GitHub's profile link. Um, I also helped get the um, the Cordelia Lulu project started, creating the initial repository and uh, the first page. Um, yes, um, I've also worked 
uh, I worked on the uh, edit chat prototype that Sam wants um, in the training TA courses next week. So I'll I think after this I'll be working on trying to get that um, uh, up to scratch because right now there's a couple of connection problems with the server, which I'm trying to resolve. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, is it the it. first time it's been right? Is this the first time it's been embedded in Studio? Um, oh, I mean, no, in, in well, edge. No? it's it's not the first time because um, we're re using the old system, but I've just mm -hmm. um, re uh, redone the UI and how it works a little bit. Mm -hmm. So instead of being open by default and uh, being embedded just below the video, it is now like docked to the side of the the browser, so you can op and it uh, and it has the option of leaving it open or closed by default. Mm -hmm. um, which could help um, some students who are experiencing uh, slow connections and do not want the chat server uh, chat to be open. Excellent. And so, yeah, I was posting you those links, Brian. Yes. You do need the stuff you need there. Yep. Great. I'm okay. going to do a bit of uh, restyling and then I'll make the pull request uh, once I can get a fix. Excellent. Okay. Okay. And do you need a pair partner for that? Um, not necessarily, but if anybody's uh, willing to pair with me on that, that'll be helpful. Yeah, I'll be I'll be around. I mean, I can't like drive, but I could certainly be around in a hangout while you're doing that for advice. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, excuse yeah, me mean, for. I, I would. Okay. Good. Uh, uh, shall we uh, figure out some other pairs? Um. Uh, Sam, pretty are you? Oh. Peter, you planning to prepare? Uh, I uh, will be pairing, but I'll be pairing with my sister on a client project. So uh, I'll be getting back to that now. Oh, good. Yes. So always important to to put food on the table. <laughs> yeah. Um. Much better to put it. Uh, Sam, pretty. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> if you can, if you can't do one, do the other. Yeah, well, indeed. I mean, you know. Uh, Sam Pretty, your mic's on mute. I don't know if I can unmute you. I think Sam's driving, so he'll have to unmute you. I, I think we just, I mean, the thing, uh, I would say the first thing is, David, are, are you available for pairing now? Are you going to do something on local support right now? Yeah, uh, I'm available for pairing. I'd like to work on local support. Um, also, I'd offer to pair with Brian, but I know nothing about either yeah. um, edX or, um, uh, or EduChat. Well, I mean, we could have a like a. a I mean, I, I I probably can't, as I can't drive, but I could be available for sort of like helping in the background for if, if Brian and David, if if you made a joint hangout and um, you know, I can sort of maybe help help you advise on any of those things. I don't know if it sounds like Sam Pretty is maybe not immediately available. And, and Thomas, what's your what's your plan? I have some stuff to take care of right now, but I'll be I'll be back uh, in half an hour, hour or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, it sounds oh, like. Oh, good. Maybe, you want to find something off first now. Um. Sorry, say that again, David? Brian, do you want to start up a Hangout for us, please? Uh, yeah, I think Brian had to step away. I'm David, what is, maybe you okay. could... I mean, if you, if, you're, if, you, uh, if you think you're going to be stably available for the next hour or two, you could... Actually, I mean, I, I, yes. can, I, can, I can easily start the next one. Why don't, why don't I wrap up the broad... I think that... You know, well, well done driving there, uh, David. Um, and, and sh shame that the um, black ha thing has to cover the, the screen. Uh, oh, I've done it again. Yes. Yeah, don't worry about it. I mean, it's, it's. I guess you've only got one monitor. Is that is that your setup at the moment? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, and, and of course, one is when is you know they're, they're you know, financially resource constrained. I, I I find it's just so nice to have. I always I have like a separate monitor that I have the hangout on, and then I have the screen for the you know, and that allows the. I, I don't know if anybody watches the videos or not. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. So why don't I why don't I stop the broadcast there, and um, we can.